guys, it's Mike here again with Viper Paranormal, and today we're going to be debunking some popular myths about the infrared or non-contact thermometer and its ability to measure air temperature. This is an infrared thermometer. This tool was designed to measure surface temperature and only surface temperature. Now you may be thinking, Mike, why aren't you using one of the big ones like you see on television? Well, there's a couple reasons for that. Reason number one, it's a waste of my money because it does not work. It measures surface temperature and only surface temperature. And two, if I were to actually make contact with something while I'm investigating, I feel I'm going to have a better chance if I'm not waving something around through the air that looks like a gun. This is how the infrared thermometer works. When you press the button to measure your surface temperature, it shoots out an invisible beam of infrared light that shines onto your surface and it measures the light radiation or the heat that that particular object is emitting. It sends that signal back to the thermometer and it converts it into a readable numbered temperature measurement. Now the further away your surface is from your thermometer, the larger that beam is going to be. And these go up to about 15 feet. So when you are taking a, a surface reading, you want to make sure that the entire beam is completely covered up by the particular item you're measuring the temperature on. Otherwise, it could be trying to measure the temperature of two different things and give you a false reading. Now some people will argue that these do measure air temperature because they're investigating with them and they say the next closest surface is way more than 15 foot away or out of the range that uh, these things will work. So their theory is that when they're using it, since it doesn't have anything to reflect off of, it's actually measuring the air temperature right in front of the device. Now this is not true. And they'll also say, you know, well then why are we getting different cold spot fluctuations and things like that on our thermometer. Well, the reason is, is because these things are very, very sensitive to a lot of different things. And um, airborne particles is one of those. Things like dust or even moisture, anything that's solid enough to reflect this light could possibly give you a false reading. Others will argue that using this thermometer outside gives you the ability to measure air temperature because if there are less surfaces for it to bounce off of, or in some cases no surfaces, it has to be measuring something because it's giving you a reading and what that's measuring is air temperature. Well, that's part right and part wrong. The part that's right is it is measuring something, but it's not measuring air temperature. It's actually measuring the light radiation from the sun. Remember, these things are very, very sensitive to that. So let's go outside and try a little experiment. Okay guys, we're outside and we're looking at a ambient thermometer here and we have an air temperature of about 63, 64 degrees. And if you notice, there's a tree line a little over 100 foot away. So there's nothing for this thermometer to bounce off of within 15 feet. Now you may be thinking, this is a pretty cheap thermometer. Well, you're right, it is, but any infrared thermometer that you get is going to react exactly how this one does. Let's take a look at our temperature again, uh, about 63 degrees, and let's get a infrared reading. 40 degrees, that, that can't be right. It's, it seems like it's going up and back down. What is this measuring? It's supposed to be 60 degrees out here. Uh, maybe we have to point it up at the sky. Let's try that and see what happens. Negative. That doesn't make any sense at all. Well, of course it doesn't make any sense. The reason it doesn't make any sense is because this thermometer does not know what it's trying to measure. It's only meant to measure surface temperature. Well, there you have it. The ability for infrared thermometers to measure air temperature has been disproved. I want to thank you guys again for watching our videos. Don't forget to check out our website, www.viperparanormal.com. Please comment, rate, and don't forget to subscribe.